Hey guys, it's Lala and you're watching my La Tarot. Today we are taking a look at the Little Witches Oracle deck, okay? So you guys let me know in the community tab that you wanted to see this deck um, and its pairs. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna take a look at the Little Witches Oracle and I have about four decks that I'm pairing it up with right now that I wanna show you, okay? Before we get started, this is going to be a little chatty video, if you will, <laughs> because I have a couple other things I want to show you. Uh, you guys let me know you wanted to see my charms. So we're going to take a look at a few charms today. Not all of them, because I have plenty. Um, in order for me to do this, I have to break it down a little bit in sections. So last time I showed you some of my Halloween charms. Not all of them, but I showed you a few. And this time I'm gonna show you some of my mermaid charms, okay? So we'll do that today. And then we'll take a look at the Little Witch's Oracle deck and its pairs. Everything will be time stamped below. So if you wanna skip ahead, that's totally fine. I understand, but I hope that you would just kind of stick with me today, chit chat a little bit and grab you a cup of something nice and cozy. So before we get into the video, I want to first remind you guys that I do sell my oils. If you are interested in picking anything up, make sure you are emailing me. Um, we do have the Prosperity Oil. This one is still going for $12.99, which is a steal plus shipping. And it's full of crystals, herbs, and natural oils. This is going to help you call in prosperity and success into your life. It, it has a little roller on there if you want to roll it on your wrist or your neck. It smells really, really good. Each bottle is designed with you in mind, so it might be just a little bit different crystals in it than what I put in it for someone else. So I kind of channel a little bit to see what I'm drawn to when making it. But yeah, this is really nice. It comes with a little Arganza bag. And then I include little goodies in there for you, like crystals. I pull a couple of timing cards and oracle cards just to let you know when you can start seeing, you know, changes in your finances and stuff like that. It's a really good, you know, really good gift. I kind of, I kind of package it like a gift. So, cause I want you guys to really enjoy it. So if you're interested, this is the prosperity oil. It definitely will help you call in that money, call in them finances you know, get your business jump started, things like that. Really, really good. And then also we have the love and marriage oil. Now I know a lot of you guys are interested in relationship stuff. So I had to make this one too. This is a nice size bottle and I'm actually selling it for the exact same price as the uh, prosperity oil for now. Okay. Eventually um, I'm going to reconsider because this is a lot more products okay so this is a really good sale it's love and marriage oil it smells so good oh my god it's full of crystals i don't know if you guys can see that it has crystals it has herbs in there it smells so good and this is going to attract that partner that you want or if you're already in a relationship it's going to move things along so that you guys can go ahead and get ready to take this to the next level this is a love and marriage oil okay so you're going to get those partners who are serious about love and romance. And I really like this one, really like this one a lot. It has opened up a lot of different prospects, I shall say, <laughs> in relationships and dating. So a lot of different prospects is what I saw a, you know, a good result when using that one. So if you're interested in either of these two, like I said, it comes with Arganza bag, crystals, I'll pull a few cards for you guys to help you along. And package it really well i'll send it out to you all you have to do is just send me an email at lala.tarot 777 at gmail.com letting me know you're interested and we'll go from there okay all right so now we are going to get into some crystals because some charms excuse me because i love charms and today we're doing the mermaid theme so that's why you guys will see I've put this tablecloth down. I have my little turtle friends and some crystals in each one. Um, so yeah, let's let's talk about the mermaid charms that I have. Now, right now I've been keeping them in this um, 
this little candle jar because I don't know where else I want to keep them yet. So I've been keeping them in here. This is the Bath and Body Works Dan Berry Shortbread. Can oh my God, it smells so good. When you guys get candles from Bath and Body Works, do not throw them away. I'm telling you guys, you can repurpose them once you're finished. You can store jewelry in here, charms, whatever, you know, candy. They're so pretty. And so I really wanted to repurpose this. They also make this one in like a turquoise blue. So I really want that candle so that I can put my mermaid charms in there because I feel like it'll go better. But this is my little mermaid charm um, jar for right now. I also have this really pretty um, bowl. I'll show you guys this one. It's super pretty. And this is another one I like to use when I want to put my charms in it. So I got this one from Burlington for $12.99 a long time ago. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Burlington um, store. But let's pull the charms in there. And then we can kind of go through a little bit, okay? Now, it's going to be a little loud. So just, you know, turn your volume down for a second, okay? Okay. So this is what I have so far. Let's just go through and take a look at them. And then I'll kind of explain and talk through how I use them and um, the definitions and meanings and stuff that I've assigned to them. So I'm just looking at this one. So let's start. This one here is kind of like that. Oh, that message in a bottle um, that you would see come through the sea or through the ocean kind of floating. So, of course, that's the message in the bottle charm. Um, I have little stars and stuff I've applied meanings to. This could mean a lot of things. This could mean, you know, maybe you'll meet somebody who's special or who's a star. This could stand for five stars. Um, you know, you just apply your own meanings to them. But I thought this one was really, really pretty. And I can't even remember where I picked it up from, but I like that one too. Um, I have a treasure chest here. Super cute. I got this one from Michael's. So obviously, you know, you can apply whatever meanings. It does open up too. Let's see if I can open it. Yeah, it opens. I didn't put anything in it for now. But I got this one from Michaels and I thought it was really cute. So just a little treasure chest. Um, we got a couple of shells. Obviously, this is one here is um, my conch. Um, or corn I, I kind of describe it as cornucopia. So if you get this one, it means that you're going to have a lot of like abundance and stuff like that. That's how I look at this one. This one obviously is kind of... Um, it looks like the phallic, you know, symbol. So that's how I read that one. Kind of like the Ace of Wands. I have a couple of mermaids here that are so pretty. We got the mommy and the baby mermaid. So super cute. Um, we have Ariel. When I get this one, I kind of say, like, you, someone might think you're beautiful maybe your hair is growing or your hair is healthy or you've been taking good care of yourself your skin kind of something like that we have this little coin for good luck and good fortune i threw a couple things in here that are not mermaid related but i just thought it was cute so a couple like little candy suckers donuts little stuff just to make it feel cutesy because when I when I play with my mermaid cards and decks and stuff like that like I want to feel like that whole girly cutesy vibe so I, I threw a couple little things in here to make it feel that way we got a couple little other little charms with people this is a good one too like if you have kids who are into charms or just sensory things this is nice to put together just to let them kind of play with right Got a couple of uh, unicorns, super cute, seahorses, you know, seahorses mate for life, so that's sometimes how I read this one. We got the unicorn, very special. I put little um, slippers, this one's really cute, it's like just a little slipper or high heel in there, as if you were going out, a night on the town. 
Um, what else? Got a little purse. Okay, so this could talk about money and prosperity. I got a cute little key here. So yeah, it's just a bucket full of like, you know, really cute stuff. And it feels good. Like I'm gonna try to see if I can open this. I don't have like my sharp nails to be able to do it this time. I got square nails today, so. <laughs> but yeah, this does open. It's just a little locket, really cute. But yeah, so these are some of my mermaid charms and you know, I thought you guys might want to see them and get some ideas about, you know, how you do your bucket. You might want to put a couple words in there just to kind of, you know, just make it fun, you know. I threw a fairy in here as well because I love the fairies. I threw a couple like little castles in here. Um the crab there's some turtles as well because i love turtles so yeah there's just some fun you know a little fun stuff here and there that you can play with and yeah i mean if you see anything you're interested in in the bucket let me know maybe we'll pull a couple of charms at the end of the video just for fun i don't want to make it too long but yeah this is my mermaid charm bucket that I put together just for fun so let me know what you guys think about that and now we can get into our little witch's oracle deck okay so I'm just gonna clean up this little mess that I made <laughs> and then we'll get into the cards because I know that's what a lot of you guys came for Oh, another thing, I started making bracelets too, guys. So um, I made this little seashell. Since we're on the topic of mermaids and stuff, I made a bracelet. This one has seashells all over it. And you can kind of see that. And yeah, so I started making little bracelets and stuff as well. So if you're interested in those bracelets, let me know. And yeah. It's just something I like to do in my pastime. So if you're interested in picking up a bracelet along with your prosperity oil or your love and marriage oil, I can put together a nice little, nice little package for you. All right, guys. So let's keep going, shall we? Because we're gonna get into the deck and some pairs. So I don't want to make it too long but I want you guys to have fun with it. Um, also, I want to show you guys my phone cases too because I think I'm just a mermaid person. I told you guys it's like my favorite. It's just fa my favorite. Like I love my fairies and I love my mermaids. So I got two phone cases that I've been using a lot lately. <laughs> this is my pearl phone case. This is the one I'm using right now for my iPhone. And then I'll use this one too. I've used the heck out of this one probably for like the last three months. So I don't know if I'm going to toss it or just, you know, give it a rest. But yeah, I've used the heck out of this one. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you too. In case you are interested, you can, you can go to like five below and get these. I got these from five below for five bucks. So yeah, super cute phone cases. Okay, so let's get into the Little Witches Oracle deck. This is a really, really cute deck. It's by Ariel Coosby. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Ariel Coosby? Coosby? Cusby? I'm sorry. But yeah, it's a really cute deck. It has 48 cards and a guidebook. And it has that feeling of just magic, right? And I love it because it's so cute and it's child friendly. It's a really child friendly deck. And I'll show you guys. This is the inside of the box. It's really cute. So here's what the inside will look like when you get it. And then it will also come with a guidebook here. And the guidebook talks about how the deck is divided into four categories, the creatures, the people, the tools, and the places. And it will also share with you a picture of the card and it'll go into a lot of information. So it's really good. It'll also give you a little witchy practice 
and it's fun. I think it's, it's child friendly as well. The, the the information it shares, the witch practices that it shares, is really child friendly. It's a beautiful little book, and I, I've been enjoying this since I got it. Okay, now I also did pick up the book of spells because I noticed that this also came with a um, the same creator has a book, and I wanted to see if it matched and how it played out with the cards. It was really affordable, so I just wanted to kind of see you know, the book, and it's cute. Like, when I say this book is so cute, it's very child-friendly. It it really brought out my inner child work. And I think I told you guys the last video I did how I was in that shadow work um, period. Well, this year, my shadow work went quicker than expected. <laughs> Usually, I'm in that darker energy for a couple months, you know what I mean? But... I'm back into my childlike stuff and pulling out my childlike decks and softening up. So I did um I did address have to address something that I'm not necessarily gonna share here right now, but you know, I did go through the shadow work period. It was just easier and quicker and shorter for me this year because um it was an issue that I think I have been kind of processing and addressing all throughout the year anyway. Um and I had a, a test <laughs> that came up this month, um, a little test to see if I had learned my lessons and things like that. You know, so I, I, I just think my shadow work period came and went a little quicker than I thought it would. Um, so now I'm back into this like light, fluffy, kid-like place. And this book is too cute. Look, oh my God, how to dress like a witch. Oh my gosh. And it's just really cute. It's full of pictures. And I love decks. I love books that are full of pictures. These little spells. It has a jump rope protection spell. Look how cute that is. Tell me that's not cute. The materials you need is like a jump rope. And that's it. Like it doesn't make you have like hard stuff, you know, hard materials to get. And it's really fun. This is a really, really fun book. So if you're interested, you know, you can pick this up as well in addition to your little witch oracle deck i just thought i would share that with you all that it they do have a book that's really um kit friendly and it's relatively inexpensive here on amazon so in the u.s you know so if you want to get that then you can okay i just wanted to share that but let's go ahead and get into the cards again i'm a little chatty kathy this morning i did have me a little cappuccino coffee so i'm kind of bouncing off the walls <laughs> so excuse me for that but here the cards are this is the back of them they are not um edged or gilded or anything like that um you can all you know always do so i don't think they would be hard to edge this deck in like a cute little pink or a little black if you want it but let's go ahead and look at the cards again there are a total of 48 cards okay so you're going to get plenty there's four categories, but mine is all shuffled together. So, so you have the magic wand, the guardian. How cute. I'm going to show you guys the pairs as well. The teacher. Oh, the gate. The moon. feast the wolf the rainy day so as you guys are looking at these cards let me know what good deck pairs come to mind for you i love to hear your thoughts because i'm always looking to just have that perfect collection of cards that blend together really well so if you have anything that comes to mind, let me know. The dancers. Tell me this is not just super cute and that your inner child is not happy to see this. Like, cause that's how I felt when I, when I first looked at them, I was pleasantly surprised. Look at that. I don't even like spiders, but this, <laughs> they made this one really cute. The 
the crossroads the warrior I'm gonna go through all of the cards because I want you all to see them all and then we'll go through a couple pairs later oh my gosh the pearl how cute is that love 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 the dog the mountain the best friend they're not numbered or anything like that um, so when you go into the guidebook, you'll just have to look at the uh, table of contents in the beginning and then it'll tell you what page to find the definition. The apple. fairy oh my gosh the rabbit this for me feels like a spring deck and it's like you know we're going into fall now we're gonna start approaching our halloween season our spooky season but this one right here takes me back to spring and i'm not mad at that right and the unicorn okay so that was the cards all 48 of them now let's go ahead and look at a couple of decks that pair well i would say this is a little bigger than tarot size i'm going to show you i think i have a tarot size card deck here hold on a second let me see and so two of the decks that i paired with remember i'm going to show you four total um, the Harmony Tarot. I love this deck, but this is a difficult deck to read. <laughs> it honestly is. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck and presentation, and I love this deck so much. I believe this is regular tarot size, so let's compare it with each other, because I believe this is a regular tarot size card. Yeah, so it's a little bigger. You guys can see it's a little bigger, a little wider, a little taller than a standard tarot size card, okay? So this is the Harmony Tarot. I love this deck, but I've had to modify it a little bit just to make it easier for me to read. I had to write the numbers um, down for the majors just so I can know. I had to um, write whether it was a wand, pentacle, cups, or sword suit by making a little letter next to it because I couldn't remember child. I'm like, this is the four of what again? <laughs> and I found myself going back to the guidebook a lot and, you know, just trying to remember. So I had to write on this just to make it easier for me to read it. I wanted it to be fluid when I'm doing a reading. I don't want to have to stop and go through, you know, the guidebook. So I had to write, you know, a letter just to remind myself of what suit it belonged to and, um, with the majors, I had to write down the number and even the words are changed. So this is the Lupin is the emperor. I would not have remembered that. So I, I had to write on it just just to, to help myself along. I typically do not write on my decks. That's not something I love to do. But this one, I, I feel better about it and I feel like I can use it more now that I've written on it, okay? Let me know if you guys have the Harmony Tarot and if it's a little difficult to read, do you think writing on it would help you use it more? You know, yeah, let me know. So that, that's that one. And now let's pair it up with also the Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. This is one of my favorite decks, my all time favorites. So we're gonna take a look at that one together with it. Okay, deck pairs. This is the Sacred Destiny. Sorry, little friend, I'm going to scoot you over. Okay, all right, so this is the Sacred Destiny. This is the Harmony Tarot, and this is our new one, the Little Witch Oracle. Okay, let's take a look at how they look together. 
all of them have the little white borders going for them. So I, I think that that for me makes it a little easier to use. What do you guys think? I feel like that helps them blend a little bit more. Oh, now that's pretty. Say it ain't so. You got the Four of Swords, the Butterfly, and Love. You know, Four of Swords is about healing. It's that rest period, you know, and maybe there's someone who's um, kind of taking a break from love and relationships right now to do some healing. I feel like the Butterfly is about that change and that inner transformation. So yeah, maybe someone's going through that period where you just need to kind of take a break from from relationships to rest and then you will metamorph into something more beautiful oh that's so pretty taking risks the sun and the five of pentacles maybe there's someone who has to take a risk financially in a business sense and invest in something or you know i'm just kind of getting that and it's like this is going to take turn out beautiful you know with the sun this is you're going to be happy this is success and sweet results but it does require that a risk be taken and you know it could you know be something financial where you may lose money potentially and so i can see the fear behind taking that risk all right we got the mermaid and thriving so yeah i just i think this one works for me what do you guys think it's definitely given a lot of mermaid for me and I know it's not a mermaid themed deck at all, but yeah, it's kind of given that. And I like it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you the next deck pair. This one is the Harmony Tarot with the Sacred Destiny. Now let's switch gears a little bit. And let's look at two others, shall we? I'm gonna take these away and then we're gonna take a look at two others. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull you guys some stuff, some cards, just so we can see how things look together. Let's do that after we take a look at these other two since we're kind of good on time, we're sweet on time right now. And we'll pull us some charms too. Why don't we just have us a whole Sunday bash? <laughs> Because I don't have too many plans today other than going to the gym. Okay, so the answer is simple. This is one that I've been pairing up with it. And this actually was in my purgatory box for months. I wasn't willing to just let it go for nothing because it is out of print now. So it's worth a lot more. And so I, I just held on to it for a while. And when I got the Oracle, um, the Witch's Oracle, the little witch's oracle it um it just made this one this one wanted to work with it and so i said okay well come on out of purgatory you know if you're ready and then we'll work together so let's let me shuffle them around a little bit just to make it cute <laughs> um yeah so let's start here to start anew let's start with that one and then we're also going to take a look at it with the green witches oracle deck okay so let's take a look at those and you guys let me know what you think about them together all right i've edged mine in a mint green color it just made me like it a little bit more and let's shuffle it around a little bit just to make it cute okay and now let's take a look at these together, shall we? All right. So we have Start Anew and the Honey Bee and the Butterfly. Very spring-ish, yeah? Very spring-ish. The Eight, the Crossroads and Snow. Open your heart with the rabbit and spring. Okay, all right, I like that combination there. Talks about rebuilding, right? Opening your heart, loving your body, and the fairy and carnelian. What do you guys think about this? 
I feel like these really do have the same vibe and and that's why this one kind of called me it called itself out of purgatory guys after months when I say I have not touched this deck in months so I definitely feel like it goes and I like it let's take a look at a few more tell the truth the cave and mint abundance persistence proliferation be patient the spider and the moon phases cycles intuition give yourself the best the tree and harvest okay so yeah let me know what you guys think about this pair with the answer is simple oracle and the green witches oracle is it something you like or did you prefer the harmony tarot with the sacred destiny cards let me know let's go ahead and pull us a few since we aren't doing anything else <laughs> might as well go ahead and pull us a few and yeah let's start there and then i'll pull us some charms too okay Alrighty, this is the fun part of the video for me. And I'm gonna come back to this one in a second. I just don't wanna lead with it. I'm gonna lead with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. And this changes every time I do a reading. Sometimes I might start with tarot, sometimes I might start with an oracle. But I'm just feeling the Sacred Destiny. So let's start there for a second and see what is our message from this deck i only want one card i only want one thank you we got thriving okay thriving some of y'all is looking good do you hear me y'all look happy y'all look healthy y'all look like y'all doing good out here if you have a job or you just started a new job i feel like you're doing well at it you're shiny, baby. You're shiny. Let's take a look at the Harmony Tarot and see what our tarot says about this. Yeah, some of you guys are doing good. You got the Five of Wands when it comes to competition. I feel like you're beating out the competition. You've got the Eight of Cups as well. Walking away from a situation. Hold on, give me one more. Thank you. Ooh, and the Ace of Pentacles. What what I say? Y'all have to live in. So I feel like you're leaving behind situations. At the bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands. That's a victory, a success. That's you thriving. That's attraction. That's achievement. And that's recognition for your hard work. That's success. So a lot of you guys are leaving situations behind where there was problems. There was issues. If this isn't a love sense, there were conflict, competition, other people being involved, things like that. And it's like, I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't have to put up with that. I don't even have to, I don't have to put myself in this position. I can literally walk away and right in front of me are new opportunities, right? There's, there's another bus coming, you know what I mean? And so a lot of you guys are just walking away from situations where there was problems, there was conflict, there was competition. If it's too much, it's just like, I'm, I'm just going to let it go. Because at the end of the day, I am good at what I do. I'm successful in my own merit, right? I have all of these skill sets. I don't have to put up with that. So I feel like a lot of you guys are really shining and looking really, really, really good. I'm going to, they want me to use the Green Witches Oracle next. So let's do that one. I love this for you. I really do. I, this is the type of reading I like to have where we talk about positive stuff, you know, and where you guys feel empowered, you know, empowered to walk away from situations and remove yourself from situations that don't serve you well, you know, and having the confidence to do so where you know that there's other opportunities right in front of you. So I love that. Let's get one of these Green Witch Oracle cards. All right, you guys have chamomile, and it talks about gentleness, 
relaxation and sleep, okay? This is about being calm and peaceful through whatever this transition is that you're going through. Whatever it is that you're leaving behind, whether it's a job or a relationship or anything, it's just talking about having that peace. The bottom of the deck, you have prosperity, luck, love. So you're going to be good. You're going to you're going to prosper in finances and job opportunities and other relationships. You're going to prosper. Look at the ladybugs, the love ladybugs. That's are about good luck. So you're going to be prosperous when it comes to this. This is a stage and a state right now for you to be gentle with yourself. It's a, a stage for you to just kind of rest, take a break, do some healing, some self-soothing is what I'm getting because I drink a lot of chamomile tea. You guys know I love tea. I told you guys that in my last video. Um, I'm getting self-soothing, okay? So, you know, it, it is a transition when you leave something behind. It is. Even if you do so feeling empowered and feeling like you're thriving, feeling confident about it, it's still a transition. So give yourself the time that you need to do some self-soothing, some healing, and just be gentle. You know, just be gentle with yourself, okay? Let's get the answer. What's the answer? Because it says the answer is simple, right? So what is our answer to this? situation let's see for some of you i feel like you apply for a position as well maybe you guys were competing for a job offer um i see an offer i see a job offer i don't know if it's with the same company or if you just you know let that one go and then there's other opportunities in front of you but i do see that there will be a, a job offer um in the near future so let's see what is our answer here um i'm gonna cut the deck this time guys let's take a look and see you are not afraid this is the confidence that we talked about and this is talking about also standing up to people and authorities that are a little bigger than you you know being vocal don't be afraid to say what's on your mind and to speak your mind being courageous okay i think that's going to be important as well don't be afraid to leave a situation and let go of a situation especially if it's somebody i'm getting a lot of work energy because i'm getting the emperor right now so some some of you are standing up to you know bosses or standing up to hiring managers you're, you're standing up and saying you know this is a problem this is an issue and if this issue is not fixed or corrected i'm gonna have to leave and I'm gonna have to look for other opportunities elsewhere. So you're not afraid to speak up for yourself. And I feel like either way, you're gonna be fine. Either way, you're gonna thrive. For some of you, you're demanding a promotion. You're demanding that you get the accolades that you deserve and the recognition that you deserve. And so I feel like you're definitely gonna be speaking up. You even got the King of Pentacles after that. Some of you guys might be asking for more money right so let's see what our little witch's oracle deck says and then we'll pull some charms okay i love this for you guys i love the confidence that you have and i love the fact that you know our overall energy here is thriving i love that so let's get one message from our little witch's oracle there we have it and we have the dog the dog Maybe you have a loyal friend somewhere. Let's see what the dog is all about. I'm going to read out the guidebook and find the page. Bear with me. The dog talks about friendship. It talks about loyalty and omens. And it says, a fantastically affectionate friend, the dog amplifies love in any home in which it dwells. Specifically, the dog provides the rare offering of unconditional love. No matter what, the dog will love you at your worst and best. All it cares about is your company and care and treats. This card asks you to pay attention to how loyalty and unconditional love show up in your life. And then I'll go into some additional messages if you want to read that about who are your favorite friends and a witch practice. You guys can pause the video, screenshot it if you want to read that. I'm not going to go ahead and go through that 
but just based off of what we got here, I feel I'm getting two messages. I'm getting in a works in a work um, place. You guys have somebody who is a loyal friend. You have somebody who's going to stand up for you or stick up for you as well. Okay, so that's a good thing. And then in a relationship sense, I think if you've had to leave a relationship, I do think that it's about loyalty. I think it's about having a companion that is loyal to you, who you can trust. And that's something that you'll have in your future with this new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is something that's solid. It's something that's stable and it's something that's reliable. So no matter what this is, if it's business or romantic, I think that's the, the point of it. The point is that you want something that's solid, stable, reliable, and something that you can trust, okay? So let us go into some of our charms really quickly. And I just love this. I feel like that matches so good. Look at the energy of those two decks. And tell me it doesn't match, okay? But let's go into some of our charms. Okay, and then I'm going to put our cards to the side really quickly. We'll just set them there. And we'll pull a couple of charms and then you guys can go on and have a great Sunday. Okay. All right, cover your ears because it's going to be a little loud, okay? I'm going to pull a couple more. Oh my gosh, we got the ladybug. Yay, I told you guys. The ladybug is all about good luck, okay? So you guys got the ladybug there. How cute. So you don't have to worry about anything. I feel like you guys are going to have um, good luck and good fortune. You even got the fish. You know, fish is all about prosperity, okay? So yeah, financially, I feel like things are going to work in your favor. I am getting some adventure here with this charm, this is giving adventure for me. I don't know if you guys are going, um, leaving the home, going on a trip, going to visit somebody else. Something about home and visits, okay? And travel energy. So you'll have to let me know how that applies to your situation. I don't know, but this seems very exciting. It feels very adventurous, okay? Some of you have a little baby this could be a boy or a girl it doesn't have to be a girl but they love you so much i feel like this person just loves you this little daughter or son that you have they love you and they look up to you a lot this one here is the unicorn so i feel like this daughter or son or it doesn't have to be your own child it could be a god child or um anyone but they love you and they're very unique they're very very special you might even find that they themselves have like little gifts, okay? Um, whether it's their intuition or whatever it is, they're very unique in that way. I also am getting the locket. So this is about memories. Um, this could be something from your past or maybe you're creating new memories. You know, I, I said you, some of you guys are going on trips and traveling. So maybe there's an opportunity to make new memories. Just make sure that you're saving that, creating a photo album or you know, something so whereas you have those memories, okay? And like I said, y'all looking good. Y'all looking good while y'all do what y'all do. Hold on, where's our card at? You guys are thriving, baby. You're thriving. Look at her hair. Look at her skin. Look at her makeup. Like, you guys look good while you do whatever it is that you're doing. You're thriving and you look it, okay? And then we have this little... Um, blue bead and this is for me about communication it's about throat chakra energy it's about emotions and just making sure that you're expressing how you feel don't be afraid to do that okay don't be afraid to stand up and express how you feel throat chakra energy okay standing up to big people all right and then you've got the little bunny and the little ice cream and i don't know maybe you guys are going for ice cream with your little one or something like that or i don't really know what this stands for but you'll have to let me know and then you got the little bunny and this is about prosperity think of empress empress energy with her little bunnies so you got a lot to do with prosperity you got the fish you got the rabbit and you have the ladybug. Good luck ahead. All right, guys. So that was the messages that I got from the charms. And then we looked at some cards today. And we talked about um, my charm bucket. We talked about the Little Witch's Oracle and its pairs. 
Um, I went through my love and marriage and my prosperity oil as well as the bracelets, the mermaid bracelets that I make. And so if you're interested in purchasing any of those, you can do so by emailing me at lala.tarot777 at gmail.com. And we even went through the Little Witch's Book of Spells. So you guys got to see a book. You guys got to see some cards. I mean, yeah, this was fun. This was fun and I really enjoyed it. You guys will have to let me know what you think below. And I thank you guys so much for watching Lala Tarot. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.